Hey everyone, so we're back for another Let's Play since people requested that I actually do it for this game. And uh, let's just sell some of the stuff we got before. You can hold control down to quick sell. Collecting potions like that is a good way to make money in the beginning of the game. Since I have no rings, let's go ahead and equip these. And uh, let's buy some tombs. Fill those tombs up. Eventually, about at the halfway point of the first act, you rescue Deckard Kane, and uh, he'll actually identify items for you for free. And he does it to everything that you have in your inventory, which is pretty fucking sweet. But until then, you definitely gotta get a tomb. Let's uh, put our monies in our bank in case we die. These are the multiple pages thing for plug Y, and you can also have a shared stash, which is pretty sweet. And uh, let's get our quest text. Greetings. Welcome, Outlander, to our glorious hovel. I know you're here to challenge the evil that's driven us from our ancestral home. But know this. Akara may be our spiritual leader, but I command the rogues in battle. It will take more than just killing a few beasts in the wilderness to earn my trust. Not really. My rogue scouts have just reported an abomination in the monastery graveyard. Apparently, Andariel is not content to take only our living. Bloodraven, one of our finest captains in the battle against Diablo and Tristram, was also one of the first to be corrupted by Andariel. Now you'll find her in the monastery graveyard, raising our dead as zombies. We cannot abide this defilement. If you are truly our ally, you will help us destroy her. Hmm. So Bloodraven's like a cap uh, captain for Andariel. Makes you wonder if Andariel's a lesbian. Alright, uh, I'm going to introduce you to some of the NPCs around town because I didn't do that in the first episode. This is Geed. A necromancer. I hoped I'd never have to lay my eyes on one of your Blah, 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 blah. The recent troubles in this area have brought up. He uh, has a gamble, which you can use to get... Um, Either really good items or really bad. You don't really know. That's why it's called a gamble. But usually this stuff's pretty expensive. I just go with loot that drops most most of the time. And this is Charcy. Hi there. I'm Charcy, the blacksmith here in camp. It's good to see some strong adventurers around here. You can go to her to repair your gear. I usually buy like a starter set of bullshit armor just to hold me over until I get better stuff that drops, but uh, you don't really, depending on your class, you don't really have to do that. I don't know, I kind of have a hard time with a Necromancer. It's uh, actually the hardest class for me to play. I don't know why, I just maybe I just don't know how to play it that well. But um, yeah, that's why I chose it for this. So you can see my ass die a lot. All right, let's head out and uh, kill some fucking bosses and shit. Alright, let's skip ahead. We've seen the blood more. Beware. Beyond lies mortal danger for the likes of you. Not really. I'm not that weak. Come on. Cold Plains. This is uh where the second quest is. Uh, oh that this is a waypoint. You can use these to jump back and forth between town and field. Oh. Very helpful. I always want to unlock all the waypoints. Always search beds.
Okay, so this is the cave. It's like an extra little dungeon you can do. Um, just generally a couple of elites in there. Uh, so yeah, I always recommend you do those extra dungeons. Um, they're always worthwhile for the EXP and loot. And I mean, what else do you got to do, right? Shit. Might as well try and enjoy the game to its fullest if you're going to play it. Alright, so... This is the second, I'm about to enter the second level of the dungeon, of the cave, rather. Um, oh, this little amulet I have here with Replenish Life. Replenish Life is a very helpful thing to have. It, it basically gives you a regen. I only have plus two on the amulet, which isn't much. Lots of mobs here. That green colored one, of course, is the elite. I'm just trying to get rid of the ads first. Killing all my skeletons. Shit. Not enough mana. That's that skill right there is called amplify damage. It increases the amount of damage that enemies take from being attacked by 100% when you have one skill point into it. Lasts eight seconds. Shit, I'm gonna have to run away. Got no manas, no guys. Let's go uh, refill here. Alright, I'm refilled. Let's try this again. Got some potions to throw at the bitch. See what I mean? Uh, like I was saying, for, for me at least, I always have a tough time on like when you get to the really strong boss type monsters or elites, it's like they always kill off my my minions and then I'm fucked. Should've done fucking Barbaron. <laughs> I'll get her though. First time I played through um, as a Necro, uh, I actually stopped playing after I beat Diablo, but I had to completely respec in order to beat Diablo himself. I had to go from being a summoning necro to just pumping up on uh, my bone spells and just killing him with ranged DPS. That's probably what I'm gonna have to do this time too, because I don't know, I just suck. If I had to choose a favorite class, what would it be? I don't know. I kind of like the assassin, but uh, druid is a lot of fun too. Druid can be hard. Yeah, no, I think I like the druid the most. Although, even though I like the druid the most, the one that I actually beat the game on, like beat the full game on, including the expansion, was a sorceress. For D3, I'm looking forward to all the classes except the Witch Doctor. Witch Doctor looks lame. This is the second floor. Uh, there was a treasure chest which you saw me open and then I got kind of ambushed by this elite. Wasn't expecting another elite down here. But at least I got the shit from the chest. This one I think is a little bit harder, this elite. Not enough mana. But I got potions, bitch. And then it all came apart. Yeah, that kinda happened. Let's move on. Let's do the uh, main quest here. Enter the burial grounds. Too many empty and beat Blood Raven. She's like the first big boss of the game. Um, she's kind of annoying though. One of my least favorites. She, uh, well, you'll see in a minute. Here. Yeah, 
Usually I run around the outer edge and kill all the uh, adds, but uh, let's just get to the point. Yeah, see, she runs and she she shoots you with a bow. That's why she's annoying. I like it better when the bosses just come straight barreling at you, and then you do the kiting. But she kind of kites you, which is it's actually kind of unique. I don't think I've ever played any boss that actually kites you before. I wish you could make your minions target a specific enemy. They always seem to go after the wrong ones for some reason. Alright, she's going down. And lightning bolts come out of her dead butt. Kill off these ads real quick and then head back to town. Usually she drops some stuff, but uh, she didn't seem to drop anything decent this time. Kind of sucks. Blood Raven, rest well. So the real reward Good for handing in. I can hardly believe that you've defeated Blood Raven. Let's let her she speak. She was once my closest friend. I pray that her tortured spirit remains banished forever. You have earned my respect, stranger and the allegiance of the rogues. I have placed several of my best warriors at your disposal. So yeah, you get your first uh, henchman. Um, really, once you get to Act 2, each act has different henchmen. Once you get to Act 2, uh, it's pretty much the best one. It's the one from Act 2. I usually always just stick with that one. So yeah, you're going to want to uh, you know, reserve a bow and some armor, basic armor for your new henchman. Let's put some of these shitty gems into her weapon. Just give her a little bit of a boost. And we can bring up her screen and equip her shit. Put that to good use. And yeah, all right. So that's pretty much it. Uh, thanks for watching, and I'll try to get the next uh, quest done as soon as possible.